and for throwing on the floor. Should I come? I'm not just... Why would someone just say something now? If it's long. Right, calm down. Take it easy. Because what's going on? What's going on? That's what you can just tell me at least what's happening. They've been here for too long. Bobby, calm down. Just take it easy. Okay. Do you think I can't handle it? I, I... Calm down. Bobby, if you're acting like this, how do you want me to act? If she were if she was dead, they would they wouldn't be taking this long. Just just calm down. Okay? Where is she? Sorry, where where is she? What happened? Oh. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Just calm down, alright? She's stable now. You can go in and say and please when you're done, kindly see me in the office. Okay. Alright? Okay. Take it easy, it's fine, it's fine. I'm sorry, Bobby. Doctor, is there anything we can do? As things stand now, unfortunately, there is not. Sorry. How much time do we have left? Ten months, give or take. Are you serious? No. Uh, judging by the stage of the cancer, 10 months is pretty much a very long time. Does she know yet? Your mom came here herself to run those tests. She had come to pick up the results and uh, passed out, obviously, from the shock of what she saw. We were able to revive her, but I dare say what happened today is nothing short of a miracle. Can we see her again? to say. Some days are like that. Ten months. Ten months, they said, so I guess we'll have to make the best use of it. Mommy, if there's anything you'd like me to do for you, please let me know. Oh, Helen. Helen, because I'm um, supposedly dying doesn't mean I'm going to pretend like I like you. Mom, please. I don't. Well, there's something you could do for me, though. Anything, Ma. I'll be honored. It's for both of you. It's very hard. You know I love you so much. I love you too, Mom. You're practically all that I have. Right from the first time I set my eyes on you, you meant the whole world to me. Yourself and your late father. <sighs> then, over the years, I've watched you grow into this fine, focused young man. And I've asked for anything better. 
your everything. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better family. Your and dad have been everything to me. Um, God has been good to me. I have almost everything I ask God for. But I'm not a fulfilled woman. Bobby, I'm a sad woman. Woman. I'm the saddest person here. I don't know what I would do without you. I'm not sad because I'm supposedly dying. That's not why. So why are you sad? You and Helen should make me a grandmother. I want grandchildren. It will surely make me happy. I want grandchildren. You haven't said anything since we come back from the hospital. Like what? You say something. <laughs> like what? You can start by telling me what you think. About what? Helen, about what my mother said. You can't pretend like you didn't hear anything she said. What are your thoughts? Like you do already know. No, I don't, Helen. If you don't tell me, how am I going to know? Then you figure it out. I'm just going to go finish up. In the kitchen and eat some bed. Listen, I, I know this is difficult for you. But there'll be other opportunities. Oh, really? Yes. When will that be? I don't know, but we'll figure something out, okay? <sighs> Why am I having this conversation? Bobby. Good night. Okay, I will set. Yes, we are direct. In three. Two, one, action. Welcome back. This is still Heart Matters. Because indeed, the heart really matters. matters. <laughs> I remain your girl, Helen, and... Bumelicious Bomi. And we're still on the topic, let go of the past. Our phone lines are buzzing and we're just going to go straight to the next call. Hello? Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hello, Helen. Hello, Bumi. I would like to remain anonymous. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So, eight years ago, I was into what they call runs. And had done nothing less than six abortions. Two years ago, I turned a new leaf when I got married. I really wanted to let go of the horrible things that I did in the past. But how exactly do I move on? When my past is staring at me, plain black in the face, every day. The doctor said that I will never be able to conceive oh, because of you, my womb has been damaged. My husband, hmm, he gets provoked at ordinary things. So how exactly does someone in my situation let go of the past? Okay. Does your husband know of your past before he got married? Yes. 
Yes, now he's the one that encouraged me to stop prostitution before he finally proposed to me. Okay, so I think you really have to let go of the past. Because really, the past has a way of dragging you and pulling you back yes. to itself. So you really have to let go completely. And on the issue of having kids, if it's going to put a strain on your marriage, I think you can consider adoption. Yes. But, but what if he refuses? Um, give it a try. You know, let him see how genuinely sorry you are and you've turned a new leaf. Because really, you can't turn back the hands of time. Well, thank you very much, Helen. You have a way, a way of making people to feel better. Thank you. I'm glad to help. Wow. That's a matter. And um, I feel that it's a sensitive issue yes. that has no right or wrong answer. Exactly. It all depends on the kind of angle that you're looking at it from and how you are able to speak on that matter. But I like the fact that she... She, re she, she realized what she has done and she has that regret. Yeah. She has turned a new leaf and you can see from that that, well, it might not necessarily be paying off right now, but she's a happier person. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, and also what I liked about your advice was the fact that, you know, when uh, she said uh, when she wasn't sure about bringing up the adoption part to her husband, we had to let her know that, oh, okay, um, if you don't ask the question, if you don't oh, let him know what's in your mind, the answer remains no because the question hasn't been asked. So you have to ask the question before you can get a response. That's right. So we always have to keep it in mind that whatever questions you have, ask first because without asking, it will always be a no. So always keep that in mind, okay? And your phones are still buzzing, so... Hello, this is Heart Matters. Tell me your name and where you are calling from. Uh, my name is Uche Million, and I'm calling from Bariga. Okay, go ahead. About the last caller, I think this should serve as a warning to young girls into prostitution. Call it Ross or whatever. You can't eat your, eat your cake and have it back. Life does not work like that. That law of karma would always... Uh, Uche, <laughs> this show is not a place for judgment, so if you have some words of encouragement, to go ahead. But these people need to know the truth, nah. After, have, after, after, after you have finished killing all the children in the, in the name of abortion, when they marry, they, 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 they will not have children. You know, they will not... Uche will be taking you off our call, okay? So if you have some words of encouragement, you can call us back. Our phone lines are still open and it's 3 minutes to 8 p.m. So because of that, we are taking one more call for today. So, Hi. hello. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. <clears throat> hello, my name is Judith. I'm calling from Iketa. Hello, Judith. Please go ahead. You see, I'm always pained when I hear people talk like that. Like this last caller. You see, God is very merciful. And any time you genuinely turn a new leaf, all things are passed away. And I want to tell that woman that called to say her womb is damaged that this is only God that gives children. She should just hang in there. Thank you. Thank you very much, Judith. And um, we have come to the end of today's show. This remains Heart Matters because indeed, the, the heart, heart really matters. matters. <laughs> you can catch us again here, same station, same place, same time. Tomorrow. We remain your host, Helen and for malicious for me thank you and good night <sighs> what did you feel about that uchi billion hey, hey i was just holding my i was it like it was almost coming out from was my face live show from bariga it's a billion from bariga she's not even ashamed of it now you might have because yes. else, I was just holding hey. my emotions. I was just holding it. I don't want to let it out. I say, what is the Bologna doing in the back? <laughs> well, Helen, I was so happy that oh this show God. has ended well. Oh like, God, it's just good. I need to run. This one, your, my next show. This is... Uh, okay. This one for okay. The next one. Uh, all right. Is it, is it for the next one? No, 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 no. no. It's not this. It's not, I'm going to have to change it. I'll, I'll make up artists to decide. Okay, we'll let uh, you know. We'll, all right, we'll... we'll I don't want that, please. No. Please. I have to hurry. Okay, no problem. I right, then have to do something. Yeah. I would catch you later. All right, bye-bye. Bye, girl. What?
trebuie să adopt. We start the process now. In about two months, we, we, we should have the child, and everybody is happy. Ellen, it's not that simple. <laughs> What's not simple? We can just call the agency now and. My mom wants us to have a child from my loins. Wow. This is your mother. She's just a drama queen. What do you mean by she's a drama queen? What's the drama about wanting, wanting a biological child from your only son? Wow. Then you can go get it somewhere else. Because it seems to me like you've been looking for an opportunity to cheat. Ellen, please, Here is your chance. Ellen, please, Take don't it. Start. Don't start. There's no need to make things complicated. Wow. Wasn't the one making ridiculous demand? We're making a mountain out of a long hill, you know? Really? I don't know why I brought it up. Good night. <sighs> Are you crazy? Putting work before your marriage? Who does that? Make you sound like I'm the witch here. Helen, there is no witch anywhere. Stop making a mountain out of a mohi. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would say you and Bobby are working together. Because you told me the exact same thing today. This is marriage. The very thing you kept praying for. Now that you have a chance to raise a family of your own, do you want to throw everything all away? Do you know how long I've waited for this opportunity? My biggest dream ever has been to, to be an on-air personality. And now that I get the opportunity, Bobby and his mother just want me to throw it away. No. No, it won't happen. She don't believe you. She has never liked me. What has that got to do with anything? Have you been listening to me? She wants me to lose my job. Listen to yourself. You might be her least favorite person, but I really think that the last thing a dying woman wants to do is cause anybody pain before she leaves. Plus, I don't think she has any idea about your arrangement at work. You know, I actually thought that you'd be on my side on this. But you know, I will always tell you the truth. And what is the truth? Family is number one, number two, and number three. There are not two ways about it. And the earlier you realize that, the better it is for you and everyone. Yeah, Helen. Good evening. Hello. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, really? Uh, that makes two of us because uh, I I was meaning to actually meet you after the show tonight to discuss something with you. Yeah, very well. Okay, the thing is, um, see, I've always known that hiring you was not a mistake. Yeah, I mean, anytime you are on air with Bumi, of course, our viewership base increases drastically. And then subscribers, we get more subscribers when you're on air. Of course, I know that it's a two-man show, you and Bumi, either, but if you go to the comment section, you see that people talk more about Helen than Bumi. I'm not trying to pull down Bumi or anything. I'm just, you know. So because of that, uh, Myself and some investors came together and we had a meeting and we decided to float another show, a one-man live night show. And 
I brought you up and they all liked the idea of you handling it. So it's going to be after this first one, that one. Yeah. So, and before you say anything, uh, let me tell you a little bit of what it comes with. Okay? Of course, it's an entirely new show, meaning that, of course, you're going to be paid for that. And we said, okay, let's just make it time so what you earn now. Wow. <laughs> and then there's going to be a furnished apartment so that if you finish late any time, you can just walk in and have a rest. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, yeah. But, sir, yeah. uh, is, is it possible to have one in the morning while I retain my early evening show? Uh, well... Considering confidence, that would have been best, but you see, night time is prime time, mm. okay? And considering the fact that it's a light show, people will call in. Um, we had some brands approach us and they will want to advertise on that show, okay. if you understand. So we can't be advertising when people are at work and in their offices and all that. So night time is, we've, we've done all the considerations and mm. it's best to do it at night. Okay, sir. Um, when are we looking at starting this show, sir? Uh, that should be two weeks from now. Two weeks. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You, so, we'll discuss the rest after uh, this particular show. Okay, sir. Okay, well, sir. Although, I, I had thought you would be a lot happier than you look. I thought you would I, want this. I'm, I'm, I'm excited, sir. I'm, I'm just overwhelmed. Yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, you said you wanted to discuss something with me. Yes, yes sir. Um, no, sir. It's not important. It's not. And then, are you sure? Yes, sir. All right, let's get on with the show. It's Thank almost you. Almost time. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, Okay, mom, I've heard you. Uh, actually, she just walked in. Yeah. Good evening, ma. Helen. Good evening, mommy. How are you doing, my darling? I'm fine, thank you, ma. How are you too? How are you holding up? Ah, <laughs> what can I say? I thank God every day. And I pray that I see my grandchild before I leave. It is my utmost desire. Hello? Are you both there? Yes, mom. Yes, yes mom. So how is it coming? Any good news yet? News? Yes, now news about the coming of my grandchild. Oh. So you're sounding like this. I hope you people are working on it too. I supposedly have 10 months, which means if both of you don't get pregnant this month, uh, I might never see my grandson. Mommy, God will do it, okay? God will do it. No, Bobby, God doesn't impregnate women. No. Mom. Why is Helen suddenly quiet? Oh, has she left? No, no, she's still here. I'm here, ma. Okay. Please, Helen. I know that I haven't been exactly nice to you. I really wish I had been. Please, regardless, honor my last wish. Okay, ma. Thank you, both of you. Sleep well. All right, Mom. Good night. Good night, Ma. Leave me alone. I'm not having this. Come on. Serious? Aside from you trying to get me pregnant, nothing. And how is that a problem? 
You agree with my mom. What did you expect me to say? I don't understand you. You talk with my mom in a way that's suggested. You wear this sexy nighty like you're inviting me that always blow me off. Oh, you think I wore this because of you? In fact, from today, this is no longer an invite. And for the records, I didn't agree to your mother's ridiculous plan. Oh, because she was acting all night. She wasn't acting. She's dying, damn it. By the way, I I got an added gig. Um, and it comes with benefits. And an apartment. I hope you turn it down. No. I don't get you. You see all this nonsense you're doing? I don't understand it at all! This has been my dream and you know it. We could walk around it. Bobby. Oh. You're working late today. Oh, yes. I had to stay back to finish working on the presentation. The board wants it first thing in the morning. Oh. Yeah. Now I'm just uh, rushing to get back home on time so I could get some sleep and no. make it back early. You can sleep at the lodge. Uh, uh -huh. Actually, I didn't plan for that. I, I didn't tell my wife. But your wife have a phone so you can actually call her. The traffic on the road is terrible. So you need a good rest. You need to really relax. Actually, you have a point. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just call her then. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, ma. Thank you so much. No. <sighs> Hello, babe. Uh, I don't think I'll be coming back tonight. Yeah, I have this presentation, which I have to be early for, so I'll just stay at the um, office lodge. Yeah, but I'll keep you posted anyways. All right, babe. <laughs> okay, <laughs> love you. You shouldn't be here. You should be. Shh. Well, you shouldn't be here. I just want to discuss to you about something. We're too thick, long. Bobby, don't you find me attractive? Excuse me? Excuse you? Listen, Bobby. I really like you. I like you so much. And that is why I hired you, even when you were most experienced in that area. Ma, I'm sorry, but I'm a married man. <laughs> I know. I'm not telling you to marry me. In fact, I don't want to ever get married. I'm not asking for too much. I just want to have a child with you. Ma, there are so many men out there. Oh, I mean. You're not them. You are handsome, you are intelligent, and those are the traits I want to my job. I'm sorry, Mara. Just can't you tell my wife? <laughs> she will never find out. Is that why you're afraid? 
You know what? You're not going to talk about it. It would be a one time thing. Right? Well, please, you need to come. Please. Sorry. Sorry. Am I not attractive enough? Hmm? Well, maybe that's true. I'll leave the door open in case you change your mind. There? It's Bobby. Who's there? It's me. <sighs> Why were you banging on the door like that? You could have just called my phone. Good evening to you too. But I thought you said you weren't coming home. Uh -uh. Is it not my house? I can come back whatever time I please. What's with the attitude, Bobby? This is about your mother. No, this is about you. Helen, it's about you! Not wanting to give that woman the only thing she's ever asked me for. Bobby! The only thing she's ever asked us for. Don't get me the door! Ever since that woman picked me up from the gutter, where I was abandoned to die by my birth mother, she's taken me as a son, giving me everything she could ever afford. My whole life, everything I have today, I owe to that woman. And now she's dying. The only thing that she's asked of me, the only thing that she's asked of us, you have refused to let me give her. Why? So she, she's not your mother. Wow. I, I, can't, I can't believe this. She's not your mom. No, my biological mom. Let's let's go inside and talk about it. Secrets. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. You don't matter me? No. Why? It, um my ex-girlfriend before I met you. Mm -hmm. She said she couldn't get married to me because she didn't know much about my family background. If there were any traces of imbecility, um, madness, or any hereditary ailments, you know? 
when I met you and I found out that you were sort of superstitious, I just couldn't bring myself to tell you this out of fear of losing you. That's crazy. I'm not superstitious. Really? Yeah. You don't like to have sex in the afternoon except it's raining because you don't want your baby to be an albino. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's really that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Bobby, hmm? can I ask you a question? Sure, anything. You promise to be truthful. Okay, now you're beginning to make me feel like it's going to be a difficult question. Yeah, because I've asked you this question before and you were not particularly truthful or you're trying to hide something or ah. I don't know. <sighs> okay. Ask away. Okay. Hit me. Your mother. Why does she hate me? Um Okay. So here's the thing. My mother and my father built everything together for years. They built the company together. And then all of a sudden this woman comes into the picture and turns my dad away from us. But I changed his will. He gave this woman everything he owned. And then eventually he was murdered in cold blood. They lost everything. We lost the cars, we lost the house. We lost the company. I lost my dad. We lost every single thing. You never mentioned this. I know. This thing brings back bad memories. I don't I don't like to, to hold on to them. That's why I probably didn't say anything. It made my mom feel awful. It made us feel awful. We we, we went to living from hand to mouth. It was rough. Sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. But what does this got to do with me? I've, I've tried to tell my mom to make her see that you are not like this woman. I've tried everything I could possibly do to make her see that you are not like her. I'm still confused. I, what has it? What has it got to do with me? This woman that took everything from us. Her name was Helen. What? Yes. Oh. It's really not that my mom hates you. No, she doesn't. I promise you, she doesn't hate you. It's just that whenever she sees you, she says the bad memories just come back to haunt her and makes her feel bad, that's it. It seemed to me like there's a lot you haven't yet told me. No, there's no, that's everything. Are you sure? I promise you. I promise you that's everything. Okay. Let's do this. Really? Yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, no, wait, 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 You see? <laughs> I downloaded this app just before you, you know. Um, let me show you. I got this app, and from there, I can calculate my operation days. And I think it starts tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. 
Mm, I think the circle, I, the ovulation. The mirror is is, mm, hold on, I just got the app. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, but I think is for seven days, right? Okay. So I think we have a better chance at it. So we have seven days to try. Well, no, I mean try. <laughs> Wait, let me take this off. Uh, okay. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll send you the details of the program very soon. Yeah, I'll talk Alright, alright, thank you. Alright. Yeah, hello. You said it was urgent. Yes, sir. Um, I have a confession to make, sir. Confession? Yes, sir. Um, being um, an influencer has always been my dream, sir. And while I studied guidance and counseling at the university, that was deliberate. I've always had the passion to um, be able to help people who are going through different kind of relationship issue. So when I got the opportunity of the job, I came for the interview and I was employed. I was given um, a confidentiality form to fill. And I agreed that I wasn't going to get programs for at least two years within the course of the job so that I can focus. Oh, well, uh, you know, that's because push, you are aware that motherhood has a way of you know, tasking and uh, you may not be able to do your job first if you become a mother. So. I know, sir. I, I understand that, but um, I lied. Um, I, I got the job based on lies, sir, and I will send my resignation letter immediately, sir. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to do that. <laughs> um, as a matter of fact, I've, I've been aware that you are married. Yeah, I, I found out a couple of months after you were employed and uh, it wasn't affecting your job, so I didn't think there was any need to bring it up. So, you don't have to resign, really. Yes, sir, but I still have to, sir. Um, I decided to dedicate more time to my family, sir. Myself and my husband are trying to have a child and oh, I, can, I, can, I can wait to the end of the month, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, I think we should finish today's episode first and then um, we'll, we'll talk some more. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll come back home. Yeah, wait. Finish this shoot and then I'll have a time. Ready? Yeah. We have come to the end of today's show on Heart Matters. Because indeed, the heart really matters. <laughs> Thank you very much. Join us again tomorrow, same time, same channel. See bye you bye. tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's well, leave here. Okay. Bye. No problem. I'll see you right, tomorrow. Darling. Yeah. Bye. -bye. I want to write my phone. I need to get it right. Hello, Bobby. Oh, hi, ma'am. I was just about leaving, actually. Oh, uh -uh. I think you've been avoiding me. Yeah, I've not been avoiding you. I called you and you refused to come. Well, I've been, I've been quite busy. I had some meetings with potential investors. And Shut up. I won't have you disrespect me because of the little talk we had the other night. The last time I checked, I still own this company. And if I want my staff to do anything, they have to drop every meeting they have to respond to me. Okay? Yes, ma. I'm sorry, I won't do that again. Okay, so... What about what we talked about the other night? Oh, 
yeah, I've I've made up my mind. So? So I think it's best we give the contract to Prime Advertising because they did a great job with the last. Uh, That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what we discussed the other night at the lodge. Oh, I, I thought we already went past that. I can't cheat on my wife. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I see you want to think about it.
Stopped over to get something, you know, on the street along. Uh, what area is this? The park junction after the market. I've been trying to stop someone to help, but no one wants to help. Babe, that's a very dangerous place to be at night now. Really? Yeah. Listen, you know what? Just um, get back into the car and roll up all the windows. I'm coming to get you now. Okay? Okay. Safe there. Babe, I've told you already. The car is not as important as your safety. Just get over it already. It's fine. Okay. Babe, I'm, I'm so tired and super hungry. Please, do you want to fix us something to eat? I'm equally tired. I just <sighs> want to go to bed. Okay, let me fix us something to eat then. Huh? No, 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 no. Thank you. I don't want to eat one of your concussions this night. Wow. No, I'm, I'm just going to go to bed. My concussion? Well, now you starve. <laughs> Let's see, you'll be hungry. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Good night. <laughs> All right, I'm coming to join you. Mm. Uh, babe. Yeah. How many days left before your ovulation is over? Six. Okay, cool. That means we still have time. Yeah. <laughs> Good night right, again. Babe. I'm coming to join you oh. again. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done? Helen, oh, I heard a rumor. Oh. What's that? You are about to headline. I need that. Don't worry. That you are about to headline your own show. Oh. I've been waiting for you to tell me. I have been it's patiently not true, waiting. Me. Uh, it's not true. In fact, I just turned on my resignation. You are joking. I'm not. That's the lie. I know what I heard. Which one is that you turned on your resignation? When you finally got the chance to headline your own show, you are changing your resolution. Are you getting married? Or what? Who can be spoiling a chance like this? I'm actually married. That's a lie. I'm married. What in the office is that you are single like a Pringle and not ready to mingle? Whatever. But <laughs> last I remembered, every one of us was hired in the last two years. They told us that we can't even get married, we have to be single. So mm. what happened? Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> I lied, yeah, but please, don't judge can't me. I can't even judge you, even if I wanted to. Guess why? Why? Marriage! <laughs> really? Yeah. Seriously? Four years now. Wow! <laughs> yes. I wow. thought about it. The fun is I should not marry you. I didn't get anything to get the job. Oh my God. So I don't even blame you. I know, that right? Well. I know, right? Oh, you like it. Even though I still don't understand why you're resigning. Oh, it's okay, Jerry. Please, let's just get on with the show and don't. Is it better? Yeah, it's okay. It's really terrible. Is it moving at all? I've been in the same spot for 30 minutes. Oh, wow. Please tell me you didn't cook. 
Um, so it's, it's not moving at all, eh? All right, um, I'm waiting for you. See you soon, hopefully. All right, babe. I just feel like carrying this car to the other side of the road right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, you can't. <laughs> bye. All right, bye. See you soon. What's up? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm almost there now. Okay, car, see you. So far. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm almost there. In fact, I'm on your street now. Please come out, come out. Start getting out. Head out, Joe. Ooh. Okay. What's up? I'm good. How was your day? It was good. How was your day? It was good. How was your day? 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 How
I saw your face cry. Oh, yes. I'm proud of you, baby. Thank you, thank you. I mean, uh, and thanks for my gift. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is lovely. Stir out. <laughs> Not that we won't brought it for you, sir. Really, you want to take it back? I want to. Uh, I want to run home today. That I close early because let me just get home. All right, but well, I'm mm. really proud of you. Mm. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling. All right, my regards yeah. to your husband. Right? Thank you. Good night. Good night. All right. Good night. <laughs> Today. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? My headaches. Oh, wow. So sorry. Yeah. Have you had something? No. I think it's the <sighs> migraine. Wow. Well, let me get you something, okay? Okay. Really bad. Let's go to bed. Go to bed. Okay. Oh God. So, do me. Okay, Charlene. Yeah. Okay. I have to go. Good night. Um, are you okay? I've yeah. noticed for a while now. You've been a bit. Appetite, always rushing home. Like it's not quite like you. It's kind of unusual. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm trying to get pregnant this month. Uh, ovulation period. So don't worry. She will be lucky to have you as a mommy. Oh, she? Yes, <laughs> yes. You know that I have a boy. I have a son, and I don't think I want him with her. Oh, I, oh. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know I haven't told you this, but really, you have really, really changed my life and you have no idea and I really appreciate you for it, okay? How so? You know, every time we've been doing our shows and you're talking to the audience out there, sometimes you're talking to me and I was really going through like a rough patch. Oh my, it was a really tough time for me. And I was always taking the words in, and I am so happy, and I'm glad that my marriage is still functioning because of you. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, okay. Right. so rather than sitting here and listening to me, go and make me oh, my daughter-in-law. Oh, oh, in law, oh, in law, no. Who paint the town red on their wedding day? <laughs> All right, we'll All right. Okay, take care. <laughs> Bye. Ah, she's nice. You won't just let me do it. Ma, please, I need to get back home for my wife now. I don't have time for this talk, please. Bobby, don't you find me attractive? Ma, please, I need to get home. It's very urgent that I get home now, please. It will not take so much. Just five minutes. Just five minutes. I, I am not interested. I'm not interested in this. Please, now, I need to get back home. Please. Do you know I can make you stay longer? No. Ma, it's already past my closing time. My closing time is 6 p.m. I'm like, let us say so. Oh, I guess you didn't check, um the terms of the appointment when he took this job. Terms? 
Yes. Madam, my contract says 6 p.m. is my closing time. It's clearly written in my appointment letter. And you forgot that your contract also said that you can work over time if it's necessary. Right? Madam, getting you pregnant is not part of my job description. And I can create one for you. Madam, please. My mother is dying. Cancer. She has only 10 months left to leave. And her dying wish is that we give her a grandchild. That's what I and my wife have been trying to do. Please. She's ovulating now and we need to do it. We need to try. We need to make an attempt to make my mother's wish come true before she dies. Your, your mother wishes for a grandchild. Just look at me. I'm in my ovulation. I'm all here for you. We can just do it. But you don't want to do it. Why? Madam, I think there's something wrong with you. I've just tried to explain to you the best possible way that I could. And yet this is all you have to tell me. If you don't mind, please just get out of my car. I need to leave. If you drive... Just get out of my car. I need to leave. Please, if please. If you drive out of here, just wait for your termination letter. Oh, that's fine. My things are packed already. Just leave my car, please. Okay. Bye. Take long. I'm tired. Please, I promise tomorrow. I promise. Babe, you know that I lost my job today. Simply because I was rushing to get back to you. But we agreed now. Yeah, I know. Wait. You lost your job? Yeah. It's a long story. I'll tell you later. How many days left before your operation is over? Um, two days. I think, um, yeah, according to the yeah, yes, um, that's what I was pleading for tomorrow. But you're going to finish late now. Okay, what am I going to be done? Um, I already arranged you for me to handle it. Once I'm done with the prep, I'll leave. If not tomorrow, you give me another story. Oh. Mm -hmm. I want. Are you sure? It's just a Okay. Hello, Bobby. Oh, I'm stuck, cool. Yes, it's not moving at all. I've been here for a while. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. If you had listened to me and taken a driver, this would have been a lot easier. I don't, I don't know. I'm tired. Eh? So where exactly are you currently? Somewhere on the express. Okay. Maybe there's something I want you to do for me now. Okay, what's that? Um, is there anywhere you can divert? Um, maybe. Okay, when you find somewhere, just send me a live location, okay? Okay, but why? What do you have planned? Trust me, you have no idea. Just send me a live location when you find somewhere. I'll be there. Okay. Alright, see you soon.
Oh, hey, babe. Hey. So yeah, just uh, drive for the bell. Let's have a little talk. Babe, we're not going home yet, okay? Just drive for the bell. <laughs> Okay, come on, let's go to the back seat. Don't tell me this is what you've been planning all along. I know, I'm very creative, right? No, <laughs> you're very spoiled. <laughs> hey, let's go to the back seat. <laughs> Tell them I'll see you tonight, eh? It must be great love of cast. What is going on here? Um, hello, officer, good evening. Wait, officer, hold on, I'm coming down. Uh, ah, don't grab me like that now. Hey, just stay here. Calm down, calm down. Officer, stop grabbing me like that now. I'm walking. Move. Ah. Move. Young man. Officer, good evening. Good evening. Um, we are taking you to the station. Oh, officer, I can explain, okay? This is my wife. We're married. Legally married. Your wife? Yeah, it's just some circumstances that, you know, causing okay. this. Does this look like your matrimonial bed? Officer, listen. Young man. Officer, Go into the car. For this. I can explain. Please, enter. Enter. Oh, take it easy. We're going to the station. Thank you. Please enter. Officer, enter. Officer, we don't need to go to the station. I'm yes, I understand. She's my wife. We're married. Yes, yes, Legally yes. married. You are, when you get to the station, you will explain to us. Can I stay in front with my wife? And no. Go to the back. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome. You know, I wish you didn't have to go through this. I'm so embarrassed. Embarrassed for what? I just wish you had called me earlier instead of sleeping behind the counter. Thank you. No problem, you're welcome. Let me rush in to take a shower. I know I'm already late for work. My show starts in two hours. Alright, so I'll see you at lunch. Yeah, thank you. Helen, I'm really proud of you for trying. So next time, you guys should get the room. <laughs> <laughs> you were, how was it? Was it hot? I mean, in the car. Bimbo, get out of my house. <laughs> get out! Get out of my house! Okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> Alright, dear. <laughs> And we've come to the end of today's show, Heart Matters. Because indeed, the heart really matters. <laughs> I would like to um, say that I will be taking a break from the show. Um, I know how it is, but um, I promise that you will all see me soon again. And I would like to say a big thank you to our amazing audience. Thank you very much. Thank you for always being there. God bless you. Oh, no, thank you for me. I miss you the most. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, our phone lines are still buzzing, but we <laughs> are sorry we can't take any more calls right now. Till we see again, thank you and 
God bless you. <laughs> wow. I will miss her the most. What, what is the heart matters without her? Oh, Who would I do for indeed the heart matters no, with? No, 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 no. You are capable, Bumi. And I know that you're going to put on a show. Uh huh. Thank you. <laughs> but I really miss you. Yeah, I'll miss you too. I'll miss you too. I'll miss you. Yeah. Oh my God, what's, are you okay? Yeah, it's just. It's a migraine. I know. All of this is because she won't, you know, they thought about like leaving all this behind. Yeah. And it's overwhelming. Yeah, but I really have to go now. Yeah. I need my last shot. Are you. <laughs> Helen! Director! Helen, are you okay? Hey, we need to get someone to take her down. This is not the time to ask questions. She needs to go down. Helen! Helen! You need to take things easy. Your blood pressure shot up way too high. Is something bothering you? Uh, I'm sure it's just work stress. Eh? Yeah. It's stress and you know they're also not possible of the town. But you've been living and working in this town for a long time now, and your BP has never been this high. So I dare say something else is bothering you but i do respect um the fact that you probably don't want to discuss it but the only thing i would advise you is to take it easy because high blood pressure kills and is always willing to keep killing thank you doctor you're welcome but i'll get enough rest now since i could not get oh you have stopped influencing us with your content. Is anything wrong? Well, nothing really. Okay. Well, I'm sure your viewers will miss you. My wife and I surely will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Doctor. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Is it possible for a woman's ovulation to last more than seven days? No, that is very impossible. You see, the ovulation period is you know, technically a day, but there is a three-day window within which fertilization can occur. Wow. So it's not possible for a woman to get pregnant on the eighth day after her ovulation? No. Like I said before, Ovulation period takes one day. Let me break it down for you. Ovulation is actually the process where the egg comes down from the fallopian tube into the womb, all right? And if insemination takes place that day, um, the sperm uh, can survive in there for 48 to 72 hours, all right? So, which gives you a window of three days for fertilization. That is the only window you have. Do you guys mind telling me what is going on? Um, what? We're trying to get pregnant this month. Oh, really? Yeah, um, we, <laughs> we want to have a baby before my mother leaves. Mm. So um, you are trying to get pregnant? when you are already one month gone. What? Really? Yes. Really, really. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> what? Oh my God. <laughs> take it easy. Oh, take it easy. Easy, daddy, easy. <laughs> Then it's fine. We're here already. Okay? It's so easy. It's so easy. We're here. Then it's fine, okay? We're here already. Can you please help me with the book? Sorry, Ma. Thanks, sorry.
<sighs> sorry, sorry. so much you know i lived to see a day like this yes yes you i couldn't be more proud where is he where <laughs> is he come on right. <laughs> oh, no, 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 like oh, oh, can you imagine <laughs> I know you're the one that gave me hope. Yes. Good boy. You gave mama hope and you made me fight. And guess what? We are going to be hanging out for a very long time. Mama. Grandma is not going anywhere. Mama. Hmm? Yes. Can you say something? Good boy. No. No? Helen, thank you so much. Thank you. You know, I was looking forward to one grandchild, but mm. look at me, my hands are full. Mm. I have two. Aren't you blessed? I am blessed. <laughs> I am. So, do you want to give grandma sweets? Oh, my no. goodness. Give grandma some sweets. No. You don't want to? No. You're not nice. <laughs> grandma bought that sweet for you. Give some to grandma. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It was the best day of my life. 